Center City Restaurant Week kicked off today. Chefs and eateries are showcasing their best dishes in a three-course dinner menu or a two-course lunch menu. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Alicia Roberts has a preview from Old City. Sunday marks the start of this two-week-long tradition where diners get to take advantage of deals across the city and local businesses get a well-needed winter boost. The restaurant week is a very exciting time for us. Inside Amada, Philadelphia on Chestnut Street, the kitchen is bustling, the servers are ready, and the guests are all smiles. Christopher Young is the general manager and says the buzz from Restaurant Week helps bring in new customers with special menu items and discounted prices. It is a time to get in a lot of people who have never dined with us before or maybe haven't dined with us for a while or maybe love us and want to uh, get a bit of a deal for Restaurant Week. More than 100 eateries participate every winter, pumping in important dollars during what's normally a slower time for sales. Post Christmas and pre Valentine's Day. We see about a, a 20 to 30 percent increase in the amount of guests that we see during that time. I would say it probably would be about a 35 percent increase. Lebanese Mountain right here. Matt Nixon is the general manager for Fork on Market Street and believes beyond the bottom line, sharing a meal matters. With everything that goes on in the world right now, I think. Restaurants and hospitality are a good way for people to kind of escape. And so I think that's important for a community to kind of uh, allow them to do that. And also it makes our jobs that much more important. For guests like Rick Womel, trying something new is always a good thing. Uh, we watched the news today and saw uh, the different uh, places. So went on the website and found this place here at Fork. And uh, we're looking forward to it tonight. He hopes others will do the same one bite at a time. Restaurant Week runs through February 3rd. In Old City, Alicia Roberts, CBS News, Philadelphia.